According to my calculations, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we're gonna be going to the burger. What's it called? Burger. So it's just like three minutes away from the hotel. So we have, we want to be there at like 12 because the family is coming and going to be meeting us over there too. So we want to be there at 12. And um, and then I think they want their competitor to be there at 12.30 already. So might as well get there at 12. And then showtime for women starts at 1.30. So I'm excited. I'm so I'm ready. And then Valerie's going to be coming right now. Valerie. Monica. Makeup done. I I like turn into a different person. I'm like, oh hello, hi. Like I have my makeup done. <laughs> do you like it, man? It was good. It was good, huh? <gasps> but and now now she's gonna do my hair. So um, that will be another transformation. I'm back to normal. So be continued. TikTok, Instagram, real, in front of, in front of family, and people we don't know. doing a Instagram reel on stage and with Valerie and Tommy's parents are out there and brothers and it's like kind of scary 
but Valerie was saying you just gotta walk out there with confidence and just own it. And so that's what I gotta do. I'm feeling nervous, but I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready. We did it guys. Oh my gosh. Um, the first time I went out there, I was shaking. I felt like Bambi. I was just like, Ooh. and then I think like the last time that we had to go walk towards the back, like I was feeling a little bit more confident, a little more comfortable. And then, so that was bikini. The first one was, it was novice. And then bikini open, I felt a little bit more comfortable, but then I was like, I was still kind of shaking, but then I was just like, you know what, F it. Okay, let's just do this, which I should have done that from the beginning, but it's very intimidating to walk out there and like, you know, in front of a bunch of people, so you can walk, you're fine. You're good. <laughs> you're good. But yeah, we did it. So now I'm going to be doing, um, there's an intermission that I'm going to be doing transformation. So that's up next, transformation.
probably her best presentation. Yeah, baby. Oh, really? Oh, you got, oh, thank you. Yeah. I try to just keep it like light and be like, okay, you know what, let's just have fun. Like, I couldn't it. I did it! Fourth place. That is so awesome. It was so emotional to see like Tommy and like everyone there, like, and this big old sword. Oh my gosh. This is cool. This is cool. This is what dreams are made of. Hey now. Hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Hey Oh my gosh. This is what dreams are made of. Show us! Show the camera! Show the camera! Wow, Maddie! Yeah. Do you like it? Oh. So Grateful, thankful, happy. <laughs> No big deal, no big deal, no big deal! Babe, I'm a you bikini competitor! You did it! I'm a bikini competitor! Oh my god! This is what dreams are made of! Hey, hey. Come on. Now you can eat some fun food. Oh, let's go have some pizza with 10 sides of ranch! I have been coaching for 13 years now. I've had my business for about 13 years. Um, and I've been coaching Grace for 20 of those 13. All kidding aside, she's worked her butt off for this. I've been there. I texted her this morning to try to like put it into words, but she never complained. She never said no. She never in front of me cried anyway, not that I know of, no matter what we had to do. So she just did all of the work, everything like beautifully and laughed the whole time and loved every minute of it for today. So all of that hard work was leading up to this day. So what you should expect is for her to get on stage, take all of her experiences from where she was to where she is now and showcase all of that work. Walk up there, confident, smiling, beautiful, show it off because this girl worked her tail off and her butt on. She has been nonstop since I started with her, and even before that, nonstop. She's one of the most hardworking clients I've ever had. And besides that, she's become basically like my best friend. So you can expect her to shine in a nutshell. The last couple of months, she's been preparing for this day. Every day she gets up early, she does her fasted cardio, which she absolutely loves. We prepare her meals. She's got chicken, tilapia, rice. She's very consistent in her, her meal plan and her water intake. And she's been working hard every day. In 2013, she started her Instagram, which was for accountability purposes and her weight loss. And she worked really hard for a few years to lose 100 pounds. We then decided to start a family, which she then gained weight from, of course. And then she worked hard to work off that weight as well. And then it wasn't until recently that she came in contact with Valerie, her trainer. The focus really began to get her stage ready, which is what she's been wanting to do for quite a while. In the last few months, I believe since December, 
she's been in prep for this show. And that's changed her daily routine to consistently changing up her meal plan every few weeks in order to progress, her fasted cardio, her morning workouts, and her nightly workouts. And she's been doing an awesome job. And I'm so proud of everything that she's accomplished. I really am. Because seeing her dedication and her hard work is finally paying off to this day, she's gonna have a blast. I'm feeling excited to see her up, up there on stage. Excited to see her big smile, and we're gonna be cheering for her in the crowd, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm feeling, it's hard to describe how I'm feeling right now. I'm like excited, and I'm not as nervous. I think I'm more of just, I'm excited because I'm finally gonna be doing this whole competition. It was eight years ago when I decided I wanted to compete in a bikini competition and it just seemed like such a crazy dream or just like a crazy goal where I'm like, okay, I'll just set that as like my future dream and then who knows if I'll do it. I just think that'd be cool to do that. And so I've always had that in the back of my mind and here I am now, it's taken seven years to to be here. You know, after losing all the weight and then maintaining and then having Maddox and then losing the baby weight and getting a tummy tuck and then losing weight again. And then, you know, it's just, it's all led me up to this. And I'm just so excited to to just finally do it and to step on onto stage and hopefully to be able to inspire others watching the show or just you know hearing it from someone else that wow okay that girl used to weigh 240 pounds and now she's stepping out on stage in a bikini and that's what her body looks like now and so i'm i'm stoked i'm excited and i'm i'm just happy ever since i started prep i feel like it's just that's where my mind has been this whole time is okay here's my goal i've got 20 weeks to do this i feel like everyone around me has been really supportive like they'll ask me like oh like do you want a cookie or something you know like if we go out to birthday parties or just you know family gatherings and people will notice like i'm not eating like a cookie or i'm not having a piece of cake i'm like oh, okay no thank you and so and then when people are like well you can just have one bite but not a lot of people understand all of the work and you know, that, that goes into competition. And it's not like I can be mad and be like, stop trying to get me to eat that. Like, cause they don't, you know, it's not, it, this this whole, is it like a sport I would say um, into bodybuilding? It's not something that everyone will fully understand, but um, if you're going through it, you understand, okay, what, like I can't put that into my body. It has to be clean. And you know, all the training that I'm doing, I have to have a specific like physique when I get onto stage. And, but so far everyone like in my family and then friends, everyone has been so supportive and they're just like, yeah, like that's awesome. Like good for you. That's a really good goal. And you know, and they talk about how, how, how hard it must be and to have like that willpower to say no to not even a bite of pizza. I just feel like everyone has been very supportive around me and I'm grateful for that. I want people to know that I'm not gonna go out there, you know, thinking, okay, like I, I'm gonna place first place. Like that's not, that wasn't my goal at the very beginning, but I did notice that as soon as like, you know, like just like when I checked into my hotel yesterday and I started seeing all the other competitors, I'm like, okay, now I do want a place. Like it's, it's, you're that close. In reality, I'm already going to be achieving this goal of stepping out on stage and I'm just so happy that I'm actually here. And so the thing that you should know is when I go out there, I'm not expecting to get a trophy. I'm doing this for me and I'm gonna be winging my tea walk that I do. So I'm just, hopefully I hit all the right poses, but I just think, you know, anyone can do this. You just have to, you know, stick to it and just you know have the willpower but if this is a goal you want to do i want you to try it because it's awesome